this is my new antenna for the collection. I just made it uh, a couple days ago. So as you can see, it's made of these uh, little crown blocks and a uh, piece of wood. Pretty neat. It's kind of wobbly, so it's a zip tie. It snapped actually off. And yeah, this is actually earthing rod. Uh, it's kind of bendy actually. But if you give it some time bending it straight, but it's it's just it's sitting nicely on there. That looks better on this angle. Got here tied on the mantle. This a little uh, no, this is this was a candle holder. And this little thing over here. So yeah, it's pretty nice. <coughs> Got a little BNC uh, thing on there. To my UHF connector. <laughs> it's kind of goofy. Um, this is this is actually bicycle spoke with uh, some nubbies under it and some rubber tape so you don't poke your eyes out. <clears throat> I write down the, the frequency of words for tuned, where the calculations is for. Uh, I use a program uh, called uh, Amateur Radio Tools or something. And uh, it gives you the calculations of how to make this, but it doesn't tell you how to connect this up. So I have uh, a crown block over here, it's pretty simple actually. Uh, so as you can see, the, the dipole is off center. Normally it's on center, but since this is a crown block, this doesn't work that way. The center is going to the left one, and the, the side of the coax is going to the, this one here. So going, it's going around on the back. Actually, there's a more direct way. If I just sand this bit over here, I can move it up here, and then the center goes directly in here. And the side can be maybe soldered to the to the to a little element. It will fit well, and maybe. Uh, this equals some extra length, and that's not very great because uh, this high frequency antennas are more sensitive. So if if the center is directly poked in here, um, maybe it's better in uh, in the calibration. So yeah. Megahertz normally is a dot right here, but I forgot. So yeah, since it's a receive only, so it uses BNCs, so SM requires a little smaller connection only. I wonder which one is better isolated, BNCs or the, the classic 249? These are kind of fun, funny quick connects, that's for sure, you just Hold on, let me get the OR. Alright, that's uh, my roommate's radio. Uh, let's keep the lights on. It's now on 26. <laughs> Funny enough, my air vent goes from uh, 108 to... Um, no, uh, I forgot. I actually, it's 118 to 138 megahertz. So, yeah. 26 is right bang in the middle, so yeah, that's where they calibrate it for. Because most good stations are, are somewhere in the middle, but. Oh, the guy stopped talking now. Oh, hold on. Uh, some things are still done now. Yeah, it starts at 180. 118. Picks up a lot of noise. I don't know where it's it's aiming out the window. You see, no big deal. It's, it's supposed to be pretty nice. But maybe it's AC motor windings. There we go. That's a really tr strong one. You still asked me to go to hundred percent. Um, yeah, 
and I guess it says nine because <laughs> I just used percentage because there's no two five five uh seven five seven zero or seven seven six. Pretty cool. Really strong station. Uh cheapest chips and uh keep on choning. <laughs>